Welcome to my video class. This class is for honors part one, and uh, I'm giving you a suggestion one introduction to poetry. I'm Sade Shahin, lecturer in English, Borbuna Government College. Uh, you know, as you know, we are in a pandemic situation, and it is very difficult for us to take classes, and our class, all the classes are suspended. So it's not uh, the, as the regular class are not going on, uh, what we can do? We can just uh, take it in different way. So since this is the, how we can communicate with each other. And through this process, we can, with, using the digital process, we can uh, continue our classes. I know that it is very difficult for uh, the student of our country uh, to communicate in this way because we are not all of us are not used to it and uh, uh, we have also uh, restraints of resources but um, in the future it is very uh, we can uh, have the opportunity to uh, get used to it and uh, also help take help from this digital media uh, i think it is also an opportunity also so take the opportunity and try to uh, continue our study in that way. So uh, let's start our with our suggestion and it is the first step for our uh, improvement or for our uh, preparation. And if we have a suggestion, good suggestion, we can have good preparation, I think, uh, for the exam. Though uh, suggestion is harmful for um, increasing your knowledge and reaching your knowledge uh, but uh, it is very helpful for uh, getting good marks in your exam and uh, all the time we have seen that uh, the question is not very difficult and in, and if you have a good command over the language and got, or got com command over the all the poetry and uh, then yeah, the question answer will not be very difficult so first of all, we are we will discuss about the part C, and as you know, the part C is about uh, the broad questions. And I think if you know the broad question first, uh, it will be very helpful for you to answer the all the questions very easily, uh, short questions and uh, very brief questions. So let's start from now. Um, Part C, I have uh, uh, classified in three sections. First, 10 is much important, and all the time this is very important for your exam. If the question is very easy, then this sort of things can come. And the second part is if the question is much difficult, then the second set will be very useful. And third set is quite different, uh, extraordinary. Uh, if you go through the first set, uh, we'll see the questions will be set like in this way. Now, the questions, language of the question may differ, but uh, if you, uh, if you uh, see the questions, uh, that the, uh, the theme of the poem, the theme of the questions will be the remain the same. So uh, we can go through the questions like. How does Shakespeare immortalize his friend beauty in his poem? So if you uh, uh, know the uh, broad questions, uh, if you uh, prepare the broad questions, uh, it will be very easy for you to answer the short questions also. Like uh, uh, if you see the um, if you are books, like in this way, uh, if you see this thing, uh, if you, uh, you can see the books, here we have uh, brief questions like uh, what kind of poem is Shakespeare a sonnet so if we uh, uh, go through the if you prepare for the broad questions it is not very difficult to answer all these brief questions and short questions then I will uh, proceed on the short, short questions also how are the morning birds of this, uh, made is uh, damaged all these elements will be in the broad questions also so if you know, go through the broad questions, it is not very difficult for you. And um, I'm assuring you that I will go through each and every sentence, every uh, questions, brief questions and short questions while answering the broad questions. 
so b in my class b present in my class in my live classes and you in a very short time within a very short time you will be uh, a notice will be given that um, uh, how our class will be discussed our our class will continue will be given a routine so let's let's uh, go back to our suggestion and uh, read out the suggestion and uh, try to preserve it you can have a screenshot of it and then uh, write it down in your uh, script and uh, try to uh, produce the uh, answer of this question uh, questions um, first of all how does shakespeare immortalize friends beauty in his poem number two uh, how does Tennyson's Ulysses uh, represent the victory and quest of knowledge and adventure? Number three, uh, comment on the intensity of passion expressed in How Do I Love Thee? What autobiographical element do you notice in the poem, uh, A Prayer for My Daughter? Discuss the theme of childhood in Dylan Thomas' poem, Fern Hill. How is human life compared with daffodil in the poem to daffodils comment one wordsworth as a poem of joy poet of joy and solitude with reference to the i wonder lonely as a cloud number seven uh, compare uh, comment uh, number eight comment one the immediate dickinson's obsession with the death in her poem because i could not stop for death number nine uh, if you go through the number nine uh, like uh, Ted Hawks, Spike symbolizes the violent trial in human being elucidates, elucidate and analyze Ulysses as a dramatic monologue. First of all, first these 10 will be discussed and then we will go through the second 10 and that will be like that. How does Dylan, Dylan Thomas uh, glorify and idolize childhood in Fern Hill? Discuss on uh, his blind as a sonnet, comment on the uh, home burial as a poem of dramatic tragedy. Why does the poet pray for his daughter in the poem, a prayer for my daughter, and why? Write a critical appreciation of the poem to Daffodils. How does Gray glorify common men? Comment on the imagery in Ted Hawk's poem Pike. How does Thomas Gray glorify common men in his elegy? Hot image of nostalgia do you find in the poem the piano and how does Rabindranath Tagore describe the present state of his country this is the third ten how does Kaiser Hawk learn grief evaluate done as a poet of love with reference to his poem the morrow comment on the imagery used and how do I love thee what romantic element do you find in the I wonder only as a cloud describe words of feeling after seeing the daffodils Comment on the Emily Dickinson's treatment of death in the uh, in uh, because I could not stop for death. Write a critical appreciation of the poem on his blindness. Browning showed the tragic fate of Patriot. Discuss uh, dis discuss Wet Whitman's as a revolutionary poet. How does Shelley use imagery in his poem or to the Western? So these things, uh, this suggestion will continue and this question can be set in different ways and uh, we'll go through one by one and in our next classes. So continue uh, watching the class and I am giving you a thing, a thing for your thinking, critical thinking. See the picture and try to uh, analyze it. And I'm giving a description of it. A person is going through some gate, and but a person, uh, a devilish person, a devil is stopping him and uh, saying that, uh, "Sorry, sir, no bags are allowed here." Uh, so, uh, how do you describe it? Is uh, you can describe it in different way. So, see the picture first and try to describe it, and uh, write it in your answer script. Next, um, these, uh, you can describe it in different ways. So, this is how we can uh, go through it. And uh, um, this is my first class, and uh, I'm very much uh, uh, 
live class so it is very difficult for a person to um, uh, the very beginning it is very difficult i think you have uh, i have some limitations here and uh, i think it, it will i will overcome it in my future classes so thank you very much and at the same time i want to say we are trying our best to pronounce english in um, correctly because um, if you want to say something in bengali or in english or arabic whatever language it is it must be pronounced in that way because when you say something in a language the language has some sort of pronunciation of its own if you pronounce it in own way it the language will lose its own criteria its own um, virtue so try to say uh, when you uh, use a language when you want to use a language uh, use the language uh, not in your own way uh, try to be close to the native speakers listen the native speakers so listening is first thing so uh, as a student of english literature you have to have the courage to speak something speak english uh, very clearly and uh, in a very um right pronunciation and uh, try to write something offhandedly very uh, critical think, think is something in a uh, very new way not cram something that don't try to wrote something so uh, this will produce uh, make you a, a critical thinker you can, you can uh, think something so uh, this is the uh, first and foremost um, advice from uh, from uh, a person like me very uh, a teacher uh, of uh, of your a guide of your uh, honors first year so, so uh, first of all uh, you can gather words and sentence structures read read and listen listen english first read manuscripts like newspaper and all those elements uh news elements or books this will improve your vocabulary and at the same time improve your uh, capacity to write something uh, write uh, the creative writing so uh, and when will you uh, be used to the uh, speaking in english it will not be very difficult for you to uh, write it in your any um, scripts so uh, try to do in that way try to be habituated with these things and all the time try to uh, listen the english movie uh, try to watch the english movie and try to listen the uh, bbc cnn uh, or that type of new channels uh, that will help you to uh, listen and at the same time uh, speak english fluently and another one is if you read and go through the passages different type of uh, writings it will increase your vocabulary and at the same time it will increase your uh, writing capability so this is for the uh, this is the my advice to you i think uh, we can uh, make, uh, giving advice is very easy but um, uh, making it in your uh, making it uh, real is very difficult so you will i think uh, you will follow my advice and try to be capable of reading and writing the writing in another language international language that is in english so that is the, all for today uh, we'll uh, go we'll uh, be uh, very impressed if you i will be very uh, impressed to if you um, follow my advice and this is uh, this is the end of my first class live and thank you all thank you everybody